Singapore primary students were asked such a difficult question. You have to find the area of this red region given the length of this square grid as 4. You are also not allowed to use integration. Can you solve it? At first glance, it seems impossible to solve it without integration, but there is a very elegant solution to this problem. We will solve this problem using symmetry. First, draw a diagonal to this grid of squares. We now have a lower segment and an upper segment in the shaded region. We are going to join them together using symmetry. First, if you observe here closely, only these two curves, they are symmetric and rotated about the diagonal. You see this point of this curve corresponds to this point of this curve. Similarly, both these points correspond to each other. Then these points, and then these points. So, it is as if this big square, if rotated, then this curve will become this one. Now we also have this curve. What will be its symmetric curve? Yes, you guessed it right. It will be this one. So this entire claw is reflected and is rotated around this diagonal to make it this one. They both are the same. Therefore, we will keep this and remove this one. We are now supposed to find this one. This will be equal to one segment of the circle minus the other circle's segment. In other words, the red shaded region will be equal to this segment minus this segment. Now for each segment, we can write their area as the area of the quarter circle minus the area of the triangle. Now this is 4, so this will be 12. So the radius of this quarter circle is 12. Hence its area will be pi r square by 4, and keeping r as 12 we get 36 pi. And area of this triangle will be 12 times 12 by 2 or 72. So this segment's area is 36 pi minus 72. Now, for this one, radius of this quarter circle is 4. Hence, its area will be pi times 4 square by 4, which is 4 pi. And area of this triangle will be 4 times 4 by 2 or 8. So this segment's area is 4 pi minus 8. So the red region's area will be 36 pi minus 72 minus 4 pi minus 8, or 32 pi minus 64. Don't forget to put the unit square. So good.